know your financial situation. Before you can start working towards financial freedom, it's important to get a clear picture of your current financial situation. This includes determining your net worth, which is calculated by adding up your assets, such as savings, investments, and property, and subtracting your liabilities, such as debt. It's also important to identify areas for improvement, such as your debt-to-income ratio and your savings rate. Understanding your financial situation and identifying areas for improvement is crucial because it allows you to take control of your finances and move closer to financial freedom. But it's not just about the numbers. It's also about understanding your own financial habits and behaviors. Number 2. Set Financial Goals Now that you have a clear understanding of your current financial situation, it's time to set some goals. This can include both short-term and long-term goals to keep you motivated and on track. Short-term goals might include creating a budget and paying off credit card debt, while long-term goals might involve saving for retirement or purchasing a home. Setting financial goals is an important step in the journey towards financial freedom, as it helps to give you direction and focus. Without clear goals, it can be easy to get sidetracked or lose motivation. Number 3. Create a budget Another step is to create a budget and reduce unnecessary expenses. Consider areas where you can cut back on spending, such as dining out or subscription services, and redirect that money towards your financial goals. Creating a budget can also help you to identify areas where you are overspending and make adjustments to your spending habits. By reducing your expenses and living below your means, you can free up more money to put toward your financial goals. Number 4. Manage Debt While debt can be a useful tool for financing certain purchases or investments, it's important to manage it wisely in order to achieve financial freedom. High levels of debt, particularly high interest debt, can weigh you down and make it difficult to achieve your goals. On the other hand, low interest debt, such as a mortgage or student loan, can be more manageable and may even help you achieve financial freedom in the long run. It's important to understand the types of debt you have and develop a plan to pay it off in a timely manner. This may involve prioritizing certain debts, negotiating for lower interest rates, or seeking out debt consolidation options. Proactively managing your debt will help you to stay on top of your financial situation. Number 5. Invest Long Term It is a great way to build wealth over time. You can do this by putting money into a savings account or constructing a well-rounded investment portfolio. While the exact time range of a long-term investment varies from investor to investor, holding an asset for at least five years is typically considered long-term investment. There are many benefits of long-term approach, from reducing risk to taking advantage of compound interest. Common long-term investments include real estate, retirement accounts, ETFs, index funds, and mutual funds. Number 6. Build an Emergency Fund An emergency fund is a crucial component of achieving financial freedom, as it provides a financial cushion in case of unexpected expenses or loss of income. Aim to save at least three to six months' worth of living expenses in a liquid, easily accessible account. This can help to reduce financial stress and provide peace of mind in the case of an unexpected event, such as a job loss or medical emergency. Building an emergency fund can also prevent you from relying on credit cards or taking on additional debt during times of financial hardship. Number 7. Educate Yourself Continuing your education or pursuing additional training to increase your knowledge and value in the job market will benefit you in the long run. This may involve taking courses or earning a degree in your field, or learning new skills that are in demand. By increasing your knowledge and expertise, you may be able to negotiate for higher pay or advance in your career, which can help you to increase your income and make the money work for you. 
Number eight, start a side hustle or passive income stream. In addition to your primary source of income, think of starting a side hustle or finding ways to generate passive income. A side hustle is a part time business that you can run in addition to your full time job and can provide a source of extra income. Passive income streams such as rental properties or investments can also provide a source of income without requiring your active participation once it's set up. Number nine, stay informed. Staying informed about personal finance and up to date on economic developments is an important part of maintaining financial freedom. Financial literacy, or the ability to understand and manage your financial affairs, is crucial in today's world. By staying informed, you can make better financial decisions and avoid potential pitfalls. This can include reading financial news, seeking out educational resources, and staying on top of changes to financial laws and regulations. By investing in your financial literacy, you can set yourself up for success and feel confident in your financial future. Number 10. Have insurance. Insurance is an important aspect of financial planning, as it can protect you and your assets from unexpected events or risks. There are many different types of insurance, including health insurance, car insurance, and homeowners or renters insurance. It's important to carefully consider your insurance needs and select coverage that meets those needs and a price you can afford. Insurance can be a significant expense, but it can also provide peace of mind and financial security in the event of unexpected circumstances. By having the right insurance coverage, you can protect your financial future. Thank you for joining us on this journey towards financial freedom. We hope that these steps have provided you with useful insight on how to take control of your finances and achieve the financial freedom you desire. If you're new to the growth mindset, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join our community of like-minded individuals on the path to financial success. And for those of you who are already subscribers, we appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more valuable content like this in the future. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below to let us know what you do to achieve your financial freedom. Thanks for watching.